slightly more unusual position. A right back. Away we go. We've had good news already. I mean, there are 26 clubs in it. In the format for this season. Man City are right at the bottom. Now Castle down here. And he's onside. Tight angle. Oh, just wide. He got a piece of it, the keeper. First chance is a sharp one from a, a nasty angle for Leo Castledine. It's only a corner. Only to the lefty on the right will take. Get to the ball! Get to the ball! Yes, and again! You see Samuel Swift winning it. Shooting chance. Tap in for McNeely. No, he's got the pass, nor control, and suddenly. Backtracking, Sam Mather here, slipping it through, that's clever for Wheatley. And it's brave from Max Merrick, well done. <laughs> Disguise on the Williams pass, McMahon have made the run. Oh, Dele. Hans. It's worth a hit maybe for Tioia Dele. Decent cross that. This is definitely worth a hit. And Harrison. That's a good pass. Kind of expect it. On target from Hansen. Pretty comfortable save, although it did come through a couple of bodies there for Max Merrick to keep an eye on. Mather. Huddleston again. Oh, that is gorgeous. Mather with the dummy and the shot, well blocked. Really good from the skip. Not too cheaply again. Here they come. United looking dangerous, but the cross. Sam Mather taking on Wilson. He kept it in. McNeely here, almost dropped for Morgan, it did drop for Dyer, and he's got underneath it. Certainly not in the team for his goal scoring in fairness, but he'd like to have done better there, and will clearly probably should have done Keanu Dyer. This is Samuel Smith, lovely exchange with Castle Dine, and a real teaser of a cross, Jimmy J Morgan was Trying to climb as high as he could to get the header over it. Inside a goal for... Ch <laughs> Castle Dyn winning it. And sliding it through for Morgan. Is he onside? Jimmy J. Morgan. Big save. Everyone's waiting for a flag. It didn't come. Two huge chances. And Eli Harrison has saved... Jackson there with that big chance. McMahon on the overlap. He's helpful in its own way. Well, he's come a long way to get that, and he didn't get it. And Chelsea haven't buried it. Donnell McNeely. Oh, it did go over the line. It counts. It's 1 0. Donnell McNeely stopped and looked at the referee. Oh, I have scored, have I? Chelsea 1, Manchester United 0. Don't see that very often. Can only presume that's the assistant referee who's given it. That's the referee himself had a good view. You'd think the, the lino who's getting it again from Travis Binion, incidentally, uh, would have had the better view. But either way, it counts and the Blues are one up. And he has just put it in McNeely. Now Keanu Dyer might get better for Chelsea here. Still going Dyer. Castle Dyne. Safe hands that time. Drawing error that he has. A bit longer that time, up towards Wheatley, and Billy G missed his touch. Wheatley, where's Max Merrick going? He's got away with it. Well, what an absolute mess that was. All three protagonists completely... ...going hit. Terrible touch. It's always worth a hit that for Donnell McNeely. Just didn't quite get hold of it. He got hold of the goal all right, but he got under it a bit, which is why it hit the bar coming through the crowd. 
Oh, that's beautifully done. What a chance for 1-1 and what a stop from Merrick. Sam Murray set his sights, struck it hard, but struck it too central. Not sure how the Chelsea sheet is still clean, but it is. Mikey Wakey, there's Murray again. All right. We're into added time. There's Keanu Dyer. Down there for and Billy G. It looks like it will be Leo Castle dying to hit it. It's on target. Nicely done. Look at that. Moving it to where the space is. And a counter-attack here right at the end of the first half. And all that stoppage time for Zach Sturge, who caused it in the first place. He squares it. McNeely finishes it. It's 2-0. And Donnell McNeely's got both of them. What a counter-attack. That's why you play out from the back, folks. That came from right back to left wing to the back of the net. Super football. And a super half-time lead of two goals to nil for the Blues. Could have equalised, but Max Merrick made a really great save. Don Elman, player coach, has done his on the pitch bit. And away we go for the second half. Bennett's taken up. Curly, what a lovely way to pass from the substitute there. Look out. This is Mather. Thankfully, it's well off target. Still going in at the back, and Reese Bennett moving a little further forward now. This is Hansen. Too much on that poor captain he had. International club games either side of the break. Helped on by Curley into Shoretier. A great feat. That is a brilliant goal. They have started like they meant business, to be fair to United at the start of this second half. They have half the deficit. And there won't be a clean sheet. It's not much of a surprise for the Blues, that is. 20 and a half matches played. 20 matches in which a goal has been conceded by Chelsea. And the captain is on the mark. And he took it very nicely. Now then, the level in intensity about Manchester United. And there was before the break. Now Donnell McNeely. Sturge. Having pushed up for this second half, Collier. That is a super pass. So Sam Mather is going to get to the byline. Option now he's not back either. And Sturge is galloping as Hansen pulls it back for Shoratire. And again, Shola Shoratire. That is brilliant. What a goal. It's even better than the last one. Frustrating as it is, this has been some start to the second half from Manchester United and their captain is on the end of both of their goals that have got this one level. That one is brilliant individually. They have come out and put absolutely everything in and they have wiped out the two-goal Chelsea lead here by the hour mark. Game on. Go get another one, son, is the, uh, the Collier and Hansen. Chelsea in trouble here. Wheatley pokes it wide. Challenge there from Billy G. Just erring on the late side, but I think the ball have gone out anyway. Risky. Top half and level on points with Manchester United. It's a decent grab from Harrison. And this one from Odaya. Keeping a close watch on Isaac Hansen. 
Norwegian have still got it. Dyer's done really well. Got rid of Mather, despite the tugs on the shirt and the waistline. Zach Sturge now needs a good delivery, and it really was. Cracking ball coming in there. Jimmy J. Morgan attacked it. Ruben Curley into Hansen. It's a clever pick out for Bennett, but he's uh, usually a player that makes things happen. Trying to do that here with his first touch, which was a wicked looking. There's Alisa. So we've got Dubry. And the wall pass with Tyreek George. A bit of swagger about the subs who've come on. Too much on that for McNeely. Oh, that's brilliant, Keanu Dyer, and that is a blatant yellow card. Surely, referee. As the rebound is hammered, goal. Bennett, they moved that well. Look out. Suddenly, it's five on five. Mather. Well done, Billy G. Got a big piece of that shot. It's feeling stretched, isn't it, folks? She was likely to be entertaining this. Both scored and conceded a lot. Smith, and what a good pass for Donnell McNeely, who is still on a hat-trick. There's a ball on here for Tyreek George. Absolutely worth a hit. He's pulled it. He normally scores cracking goals, Tyreek George. That would have been a cracker at a cracking time. Added time. George, oh yes! Thunder in them boots. Yet another screamer from Tyreek George. Another cracker for his personal collection this season. And surely a winner for Chelsea as we hit stoppage time in this thrilling football match. Brilliant. They used to say about Matt Letizia, not a great goal scorer, but a scorer of great goals. And Tyreek George has another. A beauty right into the top corner. 3-2. And a yellow card for taking the shirt off. And a shrug to go with that. was six minutes stoppage time. I suspect that, yeah, it's Soritere. Two great goals on the losing side as it stands, but how's this cross? Oh, it's dangerous and Ruben Curley attacked it. And there he is again. What a brilliant game. Absolutely no let up from either Chelsea or Manchester United and the Blues have nicked it as the clock hit 90. Two up at the break, quickly pegged back.